Hi everybody, everybody I'm back. Everybody, Jeannie Young is back and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. Today we're having pizza at the Young's house and I am so excited. I'm gonna show you all how to make one of my favorite pizzas. I'm gonna show you how to make a Philly steak and cheese pizza. Have you ever had one before? If you've never had a Philly steak and cheese pizza, you are in for a treat because this is so easy to make. It does not require a lot of ingredients. And listen here, if you're making a Gina Young style, it's gonna be so tasty. Here's what you'll need to make Gina Young style. Philly steak and cheese pizza. You, you all never had my Philly steak and cheese pizza before? You better make you some. Better make you some. I have the Hallmark Channel on. <laughs> I'm sitting in the dining room watching the Hallmark Channel. <laughs> I have the fireplace going. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas here at the Young's house, and I'm just so excited. All right, so let me show you the ingredients. You are going to need pizza crust. You use whatever kind of pizza crust you would like to use. Sometimes you can go to your local um, pizza spot and tell them that you'd like to have some dough and you'll pay, you know, maybe a few dollars for some fresh dough. I like to use the Boboli. It's amazing. It turns out great every time I make it and my family adores it. So we're going to make two pizzas today. So I have two Boboli crusts. I just have, this is a um, cookie sheet that I've aligned with foil. You can see that I have bell peppers and onions. When I make Philly steak and cheese, I gotta have me some bell peppers and onions. And we also have mushrooms. Uh, now, whatever you all like on your Philly steak and cheese, that's what you use for your pizza, okay? Make things how you like it so that you can enjoy the recipe as well. So if you're not a fan of, let's just say, mushrooms, don't use the mushrooms, okay? And it'll still be just fine. So we have the bell peppers. You can use tricolored bell peppers if you like. I just use the green and the white onion, mushrooms, and we have some amazing steakums. 100% beef and it is delicious. Every time, this steakums is a meat that you used to be able to get years and years and years ago when I was younger, but they've made the quality better and it tastes absolutely amazing. You all never had this before, give it a taste. Okay, I have some freshly grated Parmesan cheese here. Okay, and then I have a cheese grater. The cheese grater is because I want to grate some American cheese. I went to my local deli at Walmart and I asked them, give me a big chunk of that white American. I love the white American cheese when I'm making Philly steak and cheese. Um, I do have two or three Philly steak and cheese videos, feel free to check them out. I have one where I use the cheese Whiz, and I have the second one that I use the white cheese. The white cheese makes for, the white American now, it makes for the best Philly steak and cheese. You all never had that before, give it a try. Okay, so I have a big block here, and we're gonna use this this part here, and we're gonna grate it. Now what I did with my cheese is, I put my cheese in the freezer for about 15 minutes so that it's not too soft and I won't have a hard time grating it, okay? And we're also gonna need some heavy whipping cream. If you don't use heavy whipping cream or you don't have it, that's just fine, you can use milk, okay? Because I'm gonna make a beautiful white sauce to uh, replace the tomato sauce that would typically be used for a pizza. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to make this really quick and simple, yet so tasty, white sauce. And then you're gonna need a little bit of flour. We have garlic powder, pepper, and salt. I'm using sea salt. You can use whatever kind of salt you would like to use. I hope that you all are having an amazing weekend I hope you all had a very blessed Thanksgiving. Let's make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to open up my white American and then we're going to give it a nice shred. 
So like I said earlier, I have been watching all of the Hallmark movies and they really get you in the mood for the holidays. <laughs> and I've been enjoying those movies. You better believe I have. Okay, so I'm gonna start. I'm left-handed, so kind of bear with me. Okay, let's see, how should I do this? <laughs> all right, just gonna go in. When you are shredding anything, you always want to be very careful because the shredder can cut you, okay? I've cut myself before using the shredder. Um, and it's not fun. <laughs> Once you feel like you've shredded enough and you have a little tiny piece, pull your hands away from, you know, pull your hands away from this so you don't dig into your knuckles or your fingers. Or just call it a quits once you get nice and close to it. Okay, so this is shredding up just beautifully and I feel like if I wouldn't have put my white American into the freezer, it would have been much harder for me to grate this. Okay, I'm gonna continue to grate this just like so and I'll be right back. Now I know there are some of you out there that are saying, well, Gina, you're going through all that work. Why don't you just use some shredded mozzarella or some shredded provolone and call it a day? Well, because when I make steak and cheese, the cheese that I like, like I said earlier, is the white American. That's the way I like to go. It gives you an amazing creamy taste. The white American pairs beautifully with this uh, steak meat. So that's what I wanted to use. I don't mind taking the extra step to get this nice and shredded by myself. That's just fine, no problem here. But whatever kind of cheese that you would like to use, that's fine, okay? If you wanna get the shredded cheese in a bag, you're more than welcome. You know, honestly, if you wanted to, you could use hot pepper jack, whatever cheese you love. Okay, I feel like I have the perfect amount of cheese that I will need to make two pizzas. And if I don't have enough cheese, I'll just come back and I'll uh, shred those up. I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator so that it doesn't get melted, okay? Okay, the reason why I called this Parmesan fresh grated Parmesan is because I find that this Parmesan right here, it tastes better, it tastes so fresh much better than the, the one that you find in the shaker and you can shake the powder. This one right here, it tastes nice and fresh. That's the reason why, okay? And the name brand is Bella Rosa, amazing. All right, so here's what we'll do. I have washed off my beautiful mushrooms. Make sure you wash your mushrooms off, okay? Wash all of your produce off because you never know what pesticides are on your veggies. And also, you never know who's handled your veggies before you brought them home, okay? I didn't even wanna think about that. So what I do, I wash them home. I wash them when I bring them home. Okay, and really it's that simple. I'm gonna make sure that I cut enough peppers and enough onions for two pizzas. My family is so excited for this recipe today. Absolutely, I'm gonna have a nice ice cold Pepsi to go right alongside, you better believe I am, to go right alongside this pizza. You can cut these into dices, slices, however you'd like. I'm just gonna do slices, okay? And then we're gonna give these a nice saute, okay? I don't want them to be too long, so if they're this long, we can, you know, make it just like so. I hope that you all are having an amazing day today. Tell me, guys, tell me, everybody, how, what did you think about Black Friday? Wow, tell me what you saw. Did you see people out in their pajamas? <laughs> people camping outside of the stores. Tell me what your experience for Black Friday was. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below. I know that you all have some amazing stories, funny stories as well. Okay, I'm gonna continue 
to slice this and then we'll make our way over to the onions and do the same with the onions. Now, some of you might wanna put your veggies on raw. I don't wanna do that. When I make a Philly steak and cheese, I don't wanna put them on raw. You wanna make sure that these are cooked just as if this was a Philly steak and cheese. Okay, so we're gonna give them a nice saute and we're not gonna cook them so long to where they get soft. You know, you still want them to have a nice bite. You still want them to stay, stay nice and beautiful and vibrant. So we're not gonna cook them so long. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by cooking our meat first. And when our meat is just about done, then we're gonna add our peppers and onions in and cook it to your desire you know, however you would like it to be. Don't cook those veggies too long. Okay, let me set this on a plate. Okay, let's go ahead and slice into our onions, these angry onions that make me cry every time I'm gonna try to make this part nice and fast in hopes that my eyes don't water like they're starting to water right now. <laughs> those mean old onions, what do they have against me? Every time I cut these onions, my eyes water like they are right now. I'm not crying. Are you guys crying? <laughs> oh, it's horrible. There's one other ingredient I forgot to tell you about. You're going to need some butter, and that's going to be for the white sauce that we make as well. Let me open this up, and I want to show you close up what this looks like. All right, let's open it from this way. And you use as much as you like, you know, whether you're making a Philly steak and cheese or whether you're making a pizza. Two pieces of meat will make one sub. But when I make my subs, I usually use four to six pieces. <laughs> okay, so let me show you this. See that there? See how you have the sliced beef? Okay, and then between each layer, you have more beef. Let's make our way over to the stove and get started. Okay, so you can see that I have two pans here. This one will be for the white sauce. This one here will be for our meat. Okay, just put your meat in just like so, as much as you want. You all know me, you know I wanna use a lot of, a lot of meat. So I'm not even gonna count. Just throw it in the pan. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna turn the pan on to a medium high heat. You don't wanna turn it up too high. I'm going to season my meat. You wanna season this meat. If you don't season it, it's not gonna have any flavor. Give it some flavor. This is garlic powder. We're gonna use a tiny bit of salt, not a lot, just a little bit goes a long way. Trust me when I tell you this. I'm not gonna use all of that, so don't freak out. Okay, just a little tiny bit more. And that's it. That's a lot of meat that I have there, okay? So you have to season it. Go on in with some cracked black pepper, just like so. I like to have a nice amount of cracked black pepper. Pepper. This pan does not have any oil in it. It does not have any butter. You don't need oil or butter. Once this starts to brown up, it'll start to happen really quickly. I'm going to take two spatulas and I'm just gonna do a pulling motion, you know, kind of like this, and it's just gonna chop it up really easy with hardly any effort. Okay, now let's make our way over here. I'm gonna show you how to make a beautiful white cream sauce. Follow me, camera. <laughs> Follow me, camera. Okay, beautiful. Let's take a little bit of light away from here. I have four tablespoons of butter that I want to get nice and melty, okay? four tablespoons let's move this out the way I almost burnt my Parmesan cheese <laughs> but that's okay once our butter gets melty we're going to put some flour in with our butter and then after that we're gonna put our whipping cream in and I'm gonna show you something special to really bump up this white cream sauce that we're gonna use as if it was our tomato sauce. Be back. My meat is starting to cook. 
Let's take a peek in at it. See that there? Starting to do exactly what, what I'm looking for. Okay? It's not ready to chop it up yet. It's not ready. Just kind of move it around in your pan, just like so, until you see a little bit more of your meat getting nice and golden brown. Okay, meanwhile, our butter is nice and melty. Now we're gonna take some flour. Get you some flour put in there. Equal parts flour, equal parts butter, okay? Beautiful. Now we're gonna mix it in together and we're making our roux. Mixing the fat, whether that's oil and butter, or oil and flour, or butter and flour, that's making your roux. Okay, and then we're gonna add our liquid. We're gonna whisk it vigorously. We're not gonna have any lumps. It's gonna be a nice, smooth, beautiful sauce. And because I'm deciding to use heavy whipping cream, it's really gonna be nice and velvety and rich and thick. You're not gonna have to wait as long for it to get nice and thick because I'm using the heavy whipping cream. If you use milk, you might have to wait just a little bit longer, okay? Beautiful, see this consistency? That's what you're looking for, baby. And you wanna cook this roux long enough so that the raw taste can come out of the flour, okay? We don't want our sauce to taste like flour, okay? So give it maybe three to four minutes to cook just like this to get that raw taste off of the flour. Beautiful, then we're gonna pour in that beautiful heavy cream or your milk. Okay, I'm gonna put this back on the burner for a few minutes so that we can cook off that raw flavor. Just like so. You don't wanna cook it too long and get it brown because we're making a white sauce, okay? So let's go in and see if we can start pulling. And we can, we can start pulling it apart a little bit. That's what you want, okay? Just like so. Beautiful. Oh, I can smell the garlic. We got that salt and pepper on there. This is gonna be so tasty. Hoo-wee! Gotta believe it is, baby. I put the rest of the um, steak in the freezer back into the bag and back into the box. Okay? Just gonna let that be for a second, okay? Now, let's make our way over here to our sauce. And we're gonna put either your milk or your heavy cream in there. I'm gonna give it a nice whisk. Beautiful. You don't need a lot. We're only making two pizzas here, okay? Just a little bit to coat the bottom of your pizzas is all you are going to need, okay? You wanna put that back on the burner? It's gonna start to get nice, beautiful, and thick. Okay, let it reduce down a little bit. Okay, we're gonna put some salt in it because we know we need some salt. Okay, not that much, but just a little. That little bit's gonna do. Okay, we're gonna put some cracked black pepper in. Oh yeah, baby. A little tiny bit of garlic just because. All right, and then listen here, I'm gonna put some ranch. <laughs> Yeah, baby. I'm gonna put some ranch in this and it's just a little bit, but it really makes a difference. That's about a tablespoon and a half. Okay, it really makes a difference in this cream sauce. Makes it so delicious. If you, you give it a taste, right? And if you feel like you want a little bit more ranch, then put you some more in, okay? Let's let that reduce down for a few minutes. And then I'll show you something special that we're gonna do with that sauce next. Take a peek in at your beautiful meat. You see how you have that oil in the pan? That's why you don't want to put any oil or any butter in this pan because you don't, you don't need it. Okay, our sauce, I'm gonna turn the sauce on low. This is doing exactly what I want it to do, baby. Ooh, we better make you some. Y'all never had this before, honey? Listen here. We're gonna go ahead and put the mushrooms in. I like a lot of mushrooms. My family likes a lot of mushrooms in their steak and cheese. 
So you put as much as you would enjoy. If you're that person that doesn't like onions or bell peppers, then don't use it. And really, it's that simple. Okay, I'm going to put my onions, green peppers in, and now everything starts to cook very fast. Everything's going to come together really quickly from here. Be back. So I tasted my meat, and I felt like my meat needed to be seasoned once again, so I seasoned it again, and it tastes amazing. We're just kind of waiting on the veggies to get nice and cooked. You don't have to fully cook them, because remember, these are going to go in the oven and cook as well. Like I said, you want them to stay nice and vibrant, and you want them to have some texture. You don't want them to get mushy. I want you all to take a nice peek in at this sauce. It's nice and thick. That's how you want it. You don't want this to be runny, okay? You want it to have some thick consistency because this is going to go on top of your crust. The sauce is done. I want to give it a taste because I want to know what it tastes like, okay, before I put my cheese in. Oh, mmm, okay, mmm. It's so good, mmm. Like I said, you put as much cheese or you put as much ranch as you would like to have in your sauce. It really makes a difference. The cheese and the ranch, that little bit of garlic powder, salt, okay? Just like so. This is your sauce. <laughs> and as it sits, it's going to get a little bit thicker. But once it goes back into the oven, trust me when I tell you this, it will thicken back up. So don't worry about that. You see, I put a little bit more cream in, and I'm going to give it a taste once again. Oh, it's so beautiful. Once you put, listen here, let me taste this. And once you put that cheese in, oh, it's over. Mmm. 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 It's good. You hear me? Look how thick. That's what you want. That's the sauce. Take that bad boy off the off the burner. Okay, I just have it sitting there. Our steak and veggies is doing exactly what we want it to do. I want my onions to cook a little bit longer. And once I see that my onions have started to get nice and translucent, we'll go ahead, back over to the island, we'll make up our pizzas, and then we'll get them right into the oven on 350 degrees, keeping a good eye on them. Be back. Okay, everyone, my meat and vegetable mixture is done. The meat is nice and tasty. It's well seasoned. Let's make our way over and start making up our pizzas. Okay, everyone, let's go ahead. And what I like about these is they have baked in cheese into the crust, which is amazing, right? I'm going to show you how to do one of them, okay? And then I'll do the other off camera since I'm trying to cut down a little on the time today, okay? You don't have to have a lot of this sauce, just a little bit. Trust me when I tell you this. A little bit goes a long way. And those of you that say, oh no, Gina, I don't think I want a white sauce. Well, listen here, go ahead and use some pizza sauce, okay? Absolutely, all right? Possibilities are endless when you're making your own pizza at home. You see how I have a nice thin layer? That's all you need. That sauce is, is beautiful. It's really nice and strong, and you get the taste of that amazing Parmesan and the ranch flavor. Just put a little bit on. A little bit goes a long way. Okay, so you can see that we've put some of our white American cheese on, so on top of our cream sauce. Okay, so I'm using a slotted spoon to drain all of the meat and veggies. That little bit of oil that was in the pan, you want to drain that oil that's why i'm using the slotted spoon and make sure you leave that little lip so right here so you have you know the crust on the edge don't bring your sauce all the way out to the outside okay now we're going to go in with more cheese on top just like so not too much because you want for that beautifulness to shine through your cheese okay not to forget that we have a cheese sauce at the bottom and shredded cheese underneath as well Everything's going to come together in this bad boy right here. Listen, baby, it tastes just like steak and cheese. It's so good. Oh, look at that. This is going in the oven, 350 degrees. When it gets hot and bubbly, it's done. Oh, hooey. 
Can't wait to cut down into this. This is going in the middle rack, never the bottom or the top rack. They're in the oven. The anticipation is real, honey. My mouth is watering. Okay, everybody, let's go ahead and say a beautiful prayer before we slice down into this pizza. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we thank you for today and for every day. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Saviors. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper, and we bind the devil away from us in Jesus' name. Devil, you have no authority over the young family. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, love, the peace, and the joy that you bring us. Amen, and thank you once again for this beautiful meal. Amen. Look at these beautiful pizzas, baby, when I tell you. Oh, Heavenly Father, thank you once again. Philly cheese and steak pizza, Jeannie Young style. Y'all never had this before. You better make you some. If y'all enjoyed this video right here, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time Jeannie Young uploads one of these awesome recipes. Tell your family and friends and everybody you know all about Jeannie Young and what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Let's eat. Look at this, everybody. Look. <laughs> oh, mommy. Look how beautiful this bad boy is right there. Oh, I gotta let this cool down for at least five minutes, then we're gonna dive right in. I'm gonna give you all the first bite. Ooh, go ahead, everybody, take that first bite. Hurry up, because I am ready. Oh, <laughs> oh man, go, 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 go. <laughs> I'm next, I'm going in. Mm, 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 mm. Listen here when I tell you, all jokes aside, this pizza right here is the best pizza that Gina Young has made for you all thus far. This pizza is amazing. Take another bite. Mm. And as always, God bless each and every one of you. Thank you all for watching. Good night. But not before we get one more bite in. You have to taste one more bite. One more bite. Oh, look at that crust. Oh, my goodness. Listen here, child. I'm biting right there, right now. Mmm. Oh, doggone. Make me want to smack my daggone self. This is so good. Mmm.